Are you looking for some awesome effects? Get access to thousands of exclusive premium effects, free effects as well, with their super affordable pro memberships. Click the link in the description. What's up guys, these are the most awesome editing styles in Vegas Pro 16. We're gonna look into the orange and teal effect. It's going to make your footage look from this, just a regular, uh, you know, clip to this. Like really nice, really cinematic. We're all gonna talk about that in today's video. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 16, and this is basically the clip that I'm going to uh, use as an example to show you what this filter can do. So this is basically our clip, and if we're gonna apply the actual filter on it, it's going to look like this. And as you can see, that looks really, really nice with like the blue highlights and the cinematics and everything. So I just made a download link in the description. Just click there completely for free, download it, and then you will end up with this file. And then what you want to do, guys, is you want to extract this teal and orange dot cube anywhere on your computer. Doesn't really matter. So we're gonna go to uh, extract and we're gonna put that one on our desktop. All right, so now that it is on our desktop, if you already had Vegas Pro open, I would just recommend to just, as you can see, just close it down, restart it. And then you wanna go to the video effects tab and you will scroll all the way down until you see LUT filter. You wanna click on LUT filter and then you will see uh, as you can see the default one you just want to drag that on top of the clip and you want to click on file then browse and then you want to pick the teal and orange dot cube file on your desktop and as you can see boom when we apply that this is how our clip comes to look and that is how simple it is guys I also use that one as it, you know on the intro of my videos as you guys probably noticed we are in Vegas Pro 16 as you can see I just filmed a clip of a bench that was you know nearby we're going to make text appear on that white part of the bench so it's gonna be really really simple and really time-saving as well because you could not do this uh, in Vegas Pro 15 but now you can in Vegas Pro 16 and you're gonna save quite some time okay so this is the clip as you can see you see all those leaves you know moving because of the wind so this is basically where we're gonna position our text and our images so we're gonna start off go by going to the video effects tab and we're gonna go to the top one which is going to be the Beezer masking right here then we're gonna go ahead and drag on the default one on top of our clip. This box appears and that is basically the box we need to go ahead and adjust so we can select only the area where we want the text to be appeared. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do it like that. We're gonna make it a little bit thinner and then we're gonna turn it just a little bit sideways to the right until it is actually fitting onto the actual screen. This is basically the position that Vegas is going to track it. So then if you have selected the area, go to mask one, and then you want to go ahead and click on tracking, and you want to go ahead and make sure that you're at the beginning of your video track. Then you want to go ahead and make sure that it is nice and adjust it, and then you want to just go ahead and you want to click on start. Now, as you can see at the bottom, it is automatically creating keyframes, and that's basically the whole tracking. Now, you guys are wondering like, okay, now I know how to track things, but how do I attach text and images, etc., onto it? So it's really, really simple. Now all the keyframes are made, we're gonna click on this X icon. You would go ahead and click on tools and you want to pick scripting and right here it would says add text to motion track but as you can see in my version it doesn't say add text to motion track and that is because a script was missing so there are basically two options one if you guys have that one add text to motion track 
if you click on there, you will be asked, you know, to type in the text and you basically want to position it on the actual, uh, as you can see, masked area. But if you don't have add text to motion track, I will leave a download link in the description so you can download this guy, the copy motion track to PIP. And that's basically what we need to do. So if you have that, you know, script, if you have that in your project, that's great. You can skip this entire step. But if you don't have that one, you can just follow along. So we're going to do this the other way. So we're going to click on media generators. We're going to pick the standard text. We're going to go ahead and drag that guy on top of our, as you can see, timeline. Then we're going to type in the text we want to have motion track, obviously. So I'm just going to type in motion track. Then what we're going to do is we're going to close this out and we're going to resize this guy quite a bit. So we're going to click on the track motion icon, the white one, and then we have this box. And if you go to the corners, you can actually resize this. So you can also go ahead and click on right here, source alpha, put this one to 3D source alpha. Then those four boxes are appearing. See If you adjust this one, you can put this one in sort of like a, like a 3D mode ish thing. And then you can actually adjust it. So it looks like it's stuck on the bench. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, as you can see, like that. And then what you also can do is you can go ahead and uncheck the Beezer masking for a second like this. So your entire screen becomes visible. So then you can just go ahead and adjust it and make it, an, as you can see, like that 3D. It, so it looks like it's on the bench like that. So now that we have done that, we can just go ahead and actually click on the generated media button. So we can just add in a little like, for example, like shadow. So if you check the shadow, as you can see, it, like we have some shadow on the bench that looks really, really nice. So now that we've done that, we can adjust the shadow just a little bit, like, for example, like this. Boom, that looks great. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure that the text is going to follow this white part of the bench. Now that's where this option comes in. And then the last thing you need to do is go to video effects and you want to scroll down until you see picture in picture effect. Drag that only, only on top of the text like that. And then you just need to adjust it a little bit. So now that we've done that, the last thing you need to do in order to make that text go along is hold left control, hold also the only the video and the text both at the same time, click the tools, scripting and then you want to pick copy motion track to PIP and if I play it back as you can see now the text is actually following the bench it is that simple guys so that's how you do it with text and it works exactly the same with images so I'm going to delete this guy and then I'm going to drag in a banner of mine so it works exactly the same with images, guys. Just go ahead and click on the track motion icon, this white one. And then you just want to click this one to source alpha, 3D source alpha. And then you want to just go ahead and adjust it, you know, until it looks like very realistic. Make it a little bit smaller, like so. And then you want to just keep positioning it until it looks very accurate and it looks like it's stuck on the bench like that. Turn it a little bit as you can see like that. And then you just want to do the same. Go ahead and pick the uh, picture in picture effect under the video effects tab. Very simple. Then you want to drag it on there and you want to just resize it until it looks like it's stuck on there. Go ahead and hold left control, select the picture, select the video tools, scripting, copy motion track to PIP and if I play it back as you can see right now the banner is also stuck on the bench very very cool so that is it guys that's how to motion track text and images onto an object in Vegas Pro 16 using the automatic motion tracking feature and that is basically how to do it. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, this is basically the angle I'm going to use today because most videos of like the floor is lava, usually they're filmed in like just living rooms, but I have to mention that our living room is simply not big enough to create an entire scene like with the couch right there, then another couch right there, a table right there so you can have the entire floor with lava. So I don't have a big enough living room yet, but obviously in our next house we will have that so we would just recreate create that video obviously in our next home but for right now I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to turn this floor in lava I make it look pretty realistic so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make this floor lava so you can apply that obviously onto your living room and then you can have the floor as lava effect so I'm gonna make this effect and then obviously you will see the floor become lava
Okay, so as you can see right now, this is the effect I'm going to show you guys today. Just apply the lava, just add in the glows, etc. So I would say, let's go to Vegas, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. And again, I apologize that I cannot make like the typical scene. Our living room is not big enough, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag in some lava stock footage. As you can see like this so what we're gonna do is we are going to make our footage right here and then we want to create a new video track so we're gonna right click on the track insert video track and we're gonna put our lava on top of it. now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to model this until it looks like it's on the floor so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the track motion icon and then we're gonna pick at the top it says source alpha we're gonna put that one to 3d source alpha now as you can see those four boxes are popping up one two three four now there's only one box we need to adjust and that is basically this guy on the right so what we're gonna do is we are going to zoom in a little until we can actually tilt it and until it looks like it's on the floor so we're gonna go ahead and resize it a little then we're going to turn it we're gonna resize it just a little and then we're gonna go ahead and twist it like this and then we're gonna make that align this guy align with this line so then we're gonna position it right here as you can see that one looks really really nice but then we need to just go ahead and resize it a little like that then we're gonna place it on the floor and we're gonna make sure that everything right here is covered on these edges okay i think this one looks pretty nice so let's go ahead and position this just a little bit right there but we need to go ahead and adjust a few things and add in some it's like fire particles so we're gonna drag that in also then we're gonna insert a video track and then we're gonna place it obviously on top as well and then we're gonna go to the compositing mode and we need to put that one to screen as you can see like that but that's something that's optional obviously okay and the last thing we need is a red glow because as you can see when there's lava in our kitchen for example it's never gonna look like it's just normal we need to adjust it so we're gonna add in a red glow and we're gonna resize this one as well and we're gonna actually for example make it look like the lava is glowing so we're not gonna overlay that you know as you can see on these doors because it has to look realistic so you got to go ahead and drag that guy down a bit until we see only the glow right here and then right there at the top it is just normal because lava is like glowing but it's not glowing too much position this guy a little bit like this and what you can also do optional is just make some flames come out and everything and like I've mentioned the these particles what we can do is we can just obviously resize those into the lava as you can see and obviously we can also just resize and you know position it differently you know those particles so that's what we can also do we can you know just line up these particles with the lava so i'm gonna just go ahead and see when it looks like that so if i go ahead and play it back as you can see this is basically how you make the floor lava guys it is that simple that is how to do it if you're gonna use this effect to go ahead and hit me up on youtube under a video leave a comment like alex i did this check it out on my channel or hit me up on twitter or instagram anything like that i'll be reading my dms so guys this is how you create an amazing how to make the floor is lava effect in Vegas Pro 16. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. If you found this video helpful, make sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys, obviously, in tomorrow's video.